Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week and joining us is our baseball coach, Brian Nabalski. And Brian, uh, we didn't get a chance to talk last week, but not a bad start, but I think a couple games that you may feel you left on the table a little bit at Union and last week down Missouri Southern. Yeah, I think when you look at the schedule and you look at all the games we've lost, we've beat ourselves. I mean, last week and on both games we've lost, we combined for 25 walks. And like we told the team after the game, no matter who you're playing, if you're going to walk 10 guys a game, you're going to lose. No matter how good our offense is, we just can't afford to keep beating ourselves. You know, I think this past weekend, a couple big bright spots. Alex Harris, you know, he had a great outing down at Union two weekends ago, but really a fantastic outing. Six innings, one run, seven strikeouts, and then Dalton Schumer at the plate. You throw out game number one, Schumer really came to play this past weekend. Yeah, I think when you look at Dalt, I mean, his numbers kind of might be a little miscued right now because in Union he hit about eight or nine balls really hard and their ballpark's big that he flew out to the warning track. And then last week, we're in a smaller ballpark, and the results kind of paid off right there. And then when you look at Al as your Friday night guy, that's what you almost expect out of him every time. I know he holds himself to that standard, too, so it's what we expect every time out. And really, the back end of the bullpen did a really nice job for you for the most part over the last two weekends. Yeah, I think the one guy you really got to look at is Tanner Marshall. He's a redshirt freshman down in Union. He gets thrown into the fire, comes in to face one batter, gets a double play ball, then last week and goes out and throws – three scoreless innings. I mean, that's big time, and that's what we expect out of them. You know, offensively, too, you know, we knew that this team was going to be able to hit the ball. And really, you hit it on the head. I was watching the Union game on their video stream and then looking at last week's game. That's a big park down at, you know, down at um, Jackson, Tennessee. Last week, you kind of saw what we're going to see every day with how we're going to be able to hit the ball all over the place. Yeah, so what we talk with our hitters every week is we have a different approach almost every week, and I know against McKendry, it's not going to be the same kind of velo we faced last weekend, so our, our plan, our approach might change a little bit, but our hitters know who they are, and what we preach is if you don't strike out, good things will happen. And Mother Nature just has not done us any favors at all. We're adjusting the schedule again this weekend. Yeah, that's springtime in St. Louis. You don't really know what you're going to get, but, I mean, we've got to roll with the punches, and thank God for turf. We've got a couple extra games in the hand over McKendry. Talk a little bit about what you guys have, as a coaching staff have seen from McKendry and what we'll expect this weekend. Yeah, it's a, it's a totally different team if you look at it from years past. They brought in a lot of junior college guys, so we really don't have much on them. As a pitching staff, I mean, it's going to be kind of like facing ourselves. They're going to pitch us backwards and throw inside, so we just got to be ready to play. And what we've been talking all week, it's not really about the team we're playing. It's all about us and control what we can control. No doubt about it. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Weber Field, the home opener for the Saints at 2 o'clock. Yep, 2 o'clock. Hope to see everybody there. I'll see you stuff. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Jim. Brian Dabalski, our baseball coach, joins us. Doubleheader on Friday against McKendry starting at 2 o'clock. We'll take Saturday off because the weather is just not looking good at all. And then we'll come back and we'll finish up the four games set against the Bearcats on Sunday with a doubleheader starting at noon. There'll be no video streaming this weekend because of the weather being up in the air. But we will have live stats all weekend long. That way you can follow along on our website at Maryville Saints. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week. And as always, go Saints.